Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. In this video, I am going to have a discussion about the famous play Pygmalion by the famous playwright George Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw was an Irish playwright. He was born in 1856 and died in 1950. He began to write plays as a way to criticize current theatre and English society. He wrote more than 60 plays. His famous works are Men and Superman. Uh, Pygmalion in 1913, St. John in 1923. He was awarded Nobel Prize in Literature in 1925 and he was well known for his problem plays. Living in poverty and struggling from day to day can be a very difficult way to live a life and most of us, if given the opportunity, would try to make changes to our lives and our situation if we could. Pygmalion is a play by George Bernard Shaw that tells the story of a poor young girl, young flower girl, who has been disrespected and overlooked because of her appearance and the dialect she speaks. When given the opportunity, she decides to get language lessons in order to gain the respect of others and improve her overall status in life. The outcome of her training is not what she expected, and she is not only able to change the, her appearance, and speech, but also gain confidence in her own abilities. The major characters in the play, the first major character is here, Eliza Doolittle. Eliza Doolittle is the main character in the story. She is first introduced as an unpolished, foul-mouthed flower girl, but is transformed into a beautiful woman. Next is Professor Higgins. Professor Higgins is a linguist who believes he can transform Eliza Doolittle into a, into a duchess in six months. He is a, he's an intelligent man but is also disrespectful to others despite the social class and extremely arrogant. Another one, Colonel Pickering. Colonel Pickering is a linguist who challenges Professor Higgins to transform Eliza Doolittle into a duchess. Colonel Pickering funds Professor Higgins work with Eliza and is considerate and very kind to her. Alfred Doolittle Alfred Doolittle is Eliza's materialistic father who tries to obtain money when he learns Professor Higgins is working with Eliza. Mrs. Higgins Mrs. Higgins is Professor Higgins' mother who disagrees with Higgins and Pickering's plan to try to change Eliza into a Duchess. And the last character, last important character, Freddie Ainsford Hill. Freddie first meets Eliza during a meeting with his mother and sister at Mrs. Higgins' house. He falls in love with Eliza and writes letters to woo her. The summary of the Act 1. It's a rainy night. People are huddled under a roof in the courtyard of a church where a girl with a heavy accent is selling flowers. A military gentleman walks by and gives her some change and then the flower girl and some of the other people other people see a man nearby taking notes. The girl is scared that he is a policeman and begins screaming that she has done nothing wrong. The bystanders question him as to why he is taking notes but every time someone speaks the man correctly guesses where they are from. He then tells the crowd he is an expert in dialects and says that he would even be able to turn the flower girl's speech into that of a duchess if he tries. He introduces himself as Henry Higgins to the military gentleman who is Colonel Pickering, who is also an expert in dialects, who has been wanting to meet Mr. Higgins. These two people, Colonel and Henry Higgins, they go off for dinner and the flower girl excitedly uses the money to take a taxi to reach home. Act 2 The next day, Higgins and Colonel Pickering continue the discussion of speech. Despite Higgins making an off-handed comment about turning the flower girl into a duchess the night before, the girl, takes her, the girl takes him seriously and goes to his house asking for lessons. She wants to be sound enough to work at a flower shop instead of just selling flowers on the street. At first, Professor Higgins dismisses her, but Colonel Pickering is intrigued. 
he makes a bet with Higgins that if he can pass the girl Eliza Doolittle off as a off as a duchess at the ambassador's garden party, that he will cover the cost of the experiment. Higgins agrees, and the housekeeper, Mrs. Pierce, takes Eliza upstairs to clean her up. However, Alfred Doolittle, Eliza's father, comes by under the pretense that he is there to protect Eliza's honor, but he really is there to ask for five pounds from Higgins. He sees Eliza after a bath and is amazed, but eventually agrees to leave. Higgins and Colonel Pickering prepare themselves for the difficult task of turning Eliza into a gentlewoman. Act 3 Henry Higgins shows up at his mother's house Mrs. Higgins is worried about his behavior in front of the company she's expecting, especially because Higgins wants to bring Eliza to test out her new skills. The Ainsford Hill family is already co have come here, along with Mrs. Ainsford Hill, a uh, daughter Clara, and her son Freddie. Eliza enters after they all arrive and does well in their company, impressing them all with her speech and grace. However, once Mrs. Hill, Mrs. Insford Hill brings up influenza, Eliza begins to Eliza begins to get off the topic and fall back into her old speech patterns. However, Freddie finds Eliza Doolittle as more charming. All the company, everybody, including Eliza, has left. Now, Higgins' mother, Mrs. Higgins, lectures Higgins and Pickering about the experiment and what they plan for Eliza once the experiment is over. They ignore her concerns and return home. Act 4. The trio of Higgins, Pickering and Eliza return after the ambassador's garden party. Eliza did very well and the experiment was a great success. However, both Higgins and Pickering are ignoring Eliza and talking about her as if she is not there, which makes her very angry. They say, how boring the experiment had become and how relieved they are that is finally over. The two, who, Higgins and Pickering, they go to bed. But when Higgins return, looking for his slippers, Eliza throws them in his face, expressing how hurt she is and how unimportant she feels. Higgins tells her that she is ungrateful. Eliza asks, what is to become of her now? Higgins tells her, she should get married and open a flower shop. Eliza says she wishes she never participated in the experiment. She would have never participated in the experiment. She implies she is going to leave and Higgins is actually hurt. He goes to bed and Eliza prepares to leave. Act 5 Eliza has left. Higgins and Pickering are seen at Mrs. Higgins' house. There, they find a well-dressed and wealthy-looking Alfred Doolittle. Higgins jokingly arranged for Doolittle to be paid as a lecturer for his unique moral views. However, Doolittle claims that the money has ruined his life and that he hates middle-class morality and would have preferred to behave the way he did before. Mrs. Higgins sends him outside as she sends for Eliza, who has been upstairs all along. Eliza comes down behaving very politely. She thanks Pickering for always treating her as a lady, even when she was just a flower girl. Doolittle comes back in, claims he is getting married and asks everyone, for, everyone to come. Higgins and Eliza are left alone for a moment. Higgins and Eliza argue. Higgins asks her to come back, that he will adopt her or she could marry Pickering if she likes. She retorts back that Freddie Hinsford Hill has been writing her letters and perhaps she'll marry Freddie and make money off what she learned from Higgins' speech lessons. While Higgins is annoyed, he finds himself attracted to Eliza, Pickering, Mrs. Higgins and Doolittle all return. On their way out, Higgins asks Eliza, Eliza to run some errands. It is unclear if she actually do so or 
if she will return to Higgins at all. Pygmalion in nutshell. On a rainy night in London, a poor girl sells flowers. Phonetics expert Higgins busily records the girl's words. Higgins chances on Indian dialect expert Pickering. Higgins claims he could teach the girl to speak like a lady. The flower girl Eliza goes to Higgins' home to learn lessons. Higgins begins tutoring Eliza in speech and manners. Eliza's first test in public is, mar is a marginal success. Higgins' mother scolds him for treating Eliza like a doll. Eliza's final test is a complete triumph. Higgins dismissively proclaims the experiment is over. Enraged by Higgins' boorish insensitivity, Eliza runs off. Higgins finds Eliza staying with his mother the next day. Eliza asserts she has choices now and no longer needs Professor Higgins. Professor Higgins accuses her of ingratitude, yet asks her to return. Eliza departs, but Higgins is sure she is not gone for good. There are many themes in Pygmalion related to social standing and perception of people within a society. So let's discuss the themes in Pygmalion. The first theme is here, social class. In the play, class is very important and characterized by how one dresses and talks. Eliza strives for a higher social class through her lessons with Higgins because she behaves, she believes it will give her more opportunities. Additionally, people treat Eliza with more dignity and care once she appears to be of a higher class. The second theme we find here, stereotypes. Gender stereotypes are prevalent with men being viewed as more powerful and knowledgeable than women. The play also deals with the class stereotypes as those who are higher classes are supposed to be more dignified, cleaner, more polite and of a higher moral character than those who are poor. The play actually challenges these stereotypes through Eliza's transformation and, and Higgins' arrogance. The next theme we find here, appearance and reality. Despite her physical and speech transformation, Eliza is the same girl that she was at the beginning of the play at heart. However, because her appearance changed, she is treated much better than she was at the beginning of the play. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. You can reach me at mukeshenglish at the rate of gmail.com. Please do subscribe the channel, click on the like button for more videos on literature, workbook, pronunciation, grammar, communication skills, presentation skills, interview skills. Stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.